going. So looking at this, negative 6 is, thank you, is actually greater than negative 10. So what do you think our special little rule here is? So if you multiply, and you think the same thing will work for division as well? Yeah. Yep. If you multiply or divide, yeah, hi, still in class, by a negative number. Flip the sign. I would write this. Because this is really the only thing with inequalities that might mess you up. Is that any time you multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign gets flipped around. And if you want to know why, it's just this example right here. When you multiply both sides by a negative, the value of both numbers gets flipped around. Okay, is that the case with adding and subtracting? No. Is that the case with positive numbers? No. The only time we ever flip the sign is if you multiply or divide by a negative number. Okay? So you need to memorize that. So write it down, then read it, then read it again. Right, so if we took a, an example like what? Negative 2x is greater than, I don't know, 4. If we just think about what values of x would make this statement true? It has to be a negative. So usually you start, you think, if this was just equals, if it was 2x equals 4, it would be negative 2. So we know that x has to be... Any, any real number greater than 2? Negative. Any number. Yeah, any real number less than 2. But is it really any number greater than negative 2? Would 0 work? So it actually has to be any number less than negative 2, which means what are we going to have to do with the sign? We have to flip it. So there's your, your justification. It's like, oh, why do we have to flip it? Because if our answer is going to be totally wrong if we don't. So we do this like we normally would. We still want to get x by itself, so we divide both these by negative 2. We do get x on the left side, negative 2 on the right, but we have to flip that sign over. So instead of greater than, we say it has to be less than negative 2. Right. Multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip the sign. Go home tonight, make that your Facebook status. Go on Twitter, retweet that to everybody. Okay. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip the sign. I'm pretty sure that's less than 140 characters. Okay. When your friend texts you like, hey, what's up? What should you respond with? Yes. Okay, spread the good word. When you go to lunch today and you sit down and be like, guys, I have great news, great news. And everyone's like waiting, they're like, what's, what, what's going on? And you tell them? <laughs> okay. If you see Mr. Schaefer out in the hallway, what should you tell him? <laughs> okay. And then just make sure you remember we're talking about inequality. So when they ask, what are you talking about? You'd be like, duh, inequalities. Where have you been? Sure you can. Yes. All right, so how about this one here? Again, let's... 
So these are going to be two separate before you get all like confused. Yeah. We're answering both of these. Are they? Are they? Are they? Do they? What would we have to do over here? We divide them both by... Negative four. So this would be x, and this would be negative six, correct? Since we divide it by a negative number, what do we do with the sign? We flip it, so this would actually become greater than or equal to negative six. Okay. How about over here? It's not the same thing. What are we dividing both numbers by? By positive 4. So we would have x. This is still negative 6. But the sign would stay. Well, let's check it. So over here, let's pick a number greater than negative 6. Pick an easy number greater than negative 6. Zero, thank you. So let's try zero. So is negative 4 times zero, is that less than 24? Yes. Yes. Same works. If we pick the number, what, less than negative 6? So let's try negative 7. So what's negative 4 times negative 7? is positive 28. Is that, what was I trying to say? Is that less than or equal to negative 6? No. No. Oh, yeah. It's not that either. Okay? Okay. So that's why we flip it. How about on the other side here? We didn't flip this sign. Is that going to work? If we pick a number less than or equal to negative 6. Uh, yeah, we, could. We, could do ne we could do negative 6, right? So negative 6 times 4, is that less than or equal to negative 24? Yes, it's equal to 24. What if we picked a number that, let's pick a counter example, an answer that wouldn't work. So, yeah, let's try zero. I like zero because zero is pretty easy to work with. So we're looking for four times zero. Is this a correct answer? No. <laughs> Wait. Is zero less than negative 24? We're not doing that though. <laughs> Is zero a smaller number than a negative? Um, we use it in like certain cases, like um, where's my button here? Like if you ever wanted to do something like uh, one divided by x, and you wanted to work that out. You would have to set a condition because what can't x be? One. Zero. zero. We can't divide by zero, right? So we'd say where x does not equal. So use it when you need to like single out one or a few specific answers. Okay. All right. 
Or if you wanted to prove something, like if you went through an equation and you ended up with 7 equals 6, you can't really put 7 equals 6. You'd have to put 7. It's not equal to 6. Right. Oh, it's... You know, like when they say, when you have a sign and it says you can walk, it's got a little person walking. <laughs> and then if you want to indicate don't walk, what do you do? You put a... It's just a... I don't know, that's how he walks. Don't judge him. <laughs> I had an idea in my head and it didn't come out and whatever. <laughs> okay. So what about X divided by Try that one out. Yes. You got money? Okay. Then you don't have it. <laughs> oh yeah, I still need to give you some. No. You didn't even get my papers. Hater. A million. All right. Sit down. What's the answer here? There you go. How do you get rid of dividing by a number? Multiply. You have to multiply. So what are we going to do with both sides here? We're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. So this will cancel out. We get x. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. Dude. We're in chair. I know it's not my first Wait, how do we know that X is this number? You mean how do we get this one? This is just a problem. They'll give you a problem like this. You could try it out. Put in a number greater than negative 21 in here and see if it works. Okay, so if you're not sure, you can always check it. You can always put in examples here. We could graph this out. Here's negative 21, closed circle or open circle. Open, pointing which direction? If it's greater than, so if you pick any number greater than negative 21 and put it in right here, you should get an answer that makes this original statement true. That's what, that's how you check it. Okay? What? No. So what else? Inequalities. What? He's like, give me, give me, get my money. <laughs> uh, let's go to the third day stuff because I think we got this down pretty okay. Yeah. 
So let's say 2x plus 1 is less than That'll work. We haven't had decimals in a while. So we do need to subtract first. Was that running the whole time? Nice. Okay, so we subtract one from both sides. So we end up with 2x is less than 5. Then what? Divide by 2. We just divide by 2. And we get x is Greater than less than, than 5 halves. Or if you wanted to turn it into a decimal. Actually, in algebra, you can leave it as fractions. Fractions are fine. Remember, what did we say? The only time we flip it is when we multiply or divide by a negative. By a negative okay? Adding and subtracting, you never flip it under any circumstance. Okay? And we'll get more into that later. So for right now, we're going to solve a couple and graph them. So do that. Oh. Oh. No. How did I tell you to graph it? You pick one number and go from there. Excuse me. What about you? Good for you. I want a 70 inch flat screen, borderless. Well, you bring me one, I'll give you a cup of popcorn. No. 450. 
Brian, what are we doing? That's the problem. Do math. So we need somebody to come up here and do number one. Okay. Okay. So if we have two x's greater than six, how would we get x by itself? We divide it by two. I wonder if it's gonna pick up me eating popcorn. That'll be gross. It's like nom 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 nom. <laughs> so x is greater than or equal to three. Closed circle or open circle? Closed, pointing to the right. <laughs> so if it's A divided by 5, what would we do to both sides? We multiply both sides by 5. Stop looking at me. So A would be less than 5. Since it's just less than, 5 is not an answer, so it's an open circle pointing to the left. All right, next two. No. Work them out on your paper. You too, birthday girl. Like just equal to? If it was just equal to a number, it would only exist at one point. So it would be like if b equal 3, you'd just put that. You wouldn't put anything. Technically, we're going to get more into that later about lines going in different directions and intersecting lines. But if you wanted to say, like, all the numbers you're capable of dividing by, you could put an open circle here. I mean, technically. If it wasn't equal to anything, you wouldn't put anything. You'd put... You probably skip this part. I'm just put. All right. So number three. We need someone uncowardly. Okay. Wait, didn't Shorty go? All right. Three and. Someone who hasn't done something today. Someone who's just been sitting around talking all day. Elijah. 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 
No. I mean, I, I have it, but I didn't do it. Let's see. I check my attendance very carefully. <laughs> Did anyone ever get marked absent in here that was here? What? Okay, it's perfect. Do you have a blue pen? That's not blue. Blue pen? I'm still upset that you're writing in blue pen, but... Hey, you want to buy some popcorn? Why not? It's for the food bank. Is it because it's from me? Yeah. Wow, hateful. Okay. I'll, I'll see you out in the parking lot. We're going to settle this. No dads? Unless my dad could beat up your dad. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, no. All right. Okay, okay. Hush. Couple things here. We said if you want to get rid of multiplying by a fraction, what do you multiply it by? If he, I want to multiply three fourths times something that'll end up giving me one over one. So you multiply it by the what? What do we call that? Reciprocal. Because then what happens? This cancels out. This cancels out. So to get rid of multiplying by three fourths, we should multiply both sides by. Four thirds. So if we take, so this cancel out. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be like super smart here. Four over three. Ha ha ha. So then we have three over one times four over three. Can I simplify any of that? These threes will cancel out, so really I'm just left with 4 over 1, which is just... One. What? One. <laughs> so I end up with B is greater than 4. four. And an open circle. Which means we should have an open circle center. Okay, cool. No? Okay. So we need to practice more with multiplying by fractions. No, we need more help on dividing. Wait, where's the work? Yeah, duh. No, I just I just use decimals. Cause technically if you divided it by three fourths, when you divide a fraction by a fraction. Remember how do we divide fractions? Remember KFC. So you're still, it's because it's stupid. But it's basically if you divide by fractions, you take the reciprocal and multiply. <laughs> I know she taught it to you. It's like keep, flip, change. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this is this is close. What's the only thing that's kind of wrong about this? All right. Children. Christian. If y is less than or equal to negative two, what is this number right here? That's positive two. Where should it be?
What? Other one. I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Don't forget your signs. Big difference between 2 and negative 2. There's four, four digits. Yes. Can we do 5 and 6? Of course we can do 5 and 6. Can I do it? On your paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like $2.10 all week. Tomorrow's the last day to get your tacos and movies. All right, you really only get a choice of that if you actually come in first place. But what if you get third place? Then you don't get a choice. You get whatever's left over. But then, then you'd be what the bronze winner? Like, oh, who cares? They got third. Birthday girl, Amber, you have the answers? Brian, are you going to come up here to do number five? Ian? Alright, number five, six. Don't say dang it. Why are you laughing? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that Antonio's not funny? We shouldn't laugh at Antonio just because he's not funny. Yes. There's plenty of other reasons to laugh at him. <laughs> so we take both sides, we divide them both by negative 3. So we get x on the left, we flip the sign, and 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. Don't forget the graph. So we get x is greater than negative 4. Since it's not greater than or equal to, it's just an open circle, and we're all done. So since we're dividing by negative 2, we do the opposite. We multiply by negative 2. So 1.5 times negative 2 would be... So we get k is... We flip the sign. And we get negative 3. So we graph that. If it is less than negative 3, there you go. Seven and eight on your paper. Settle down. I know you're excited about inequalities, but I need you. I need your excitement to be less than or equal to this much. You need to be at Brandon. Right now we're at a Will. <laughs> you bring it down. 
<laughs> Not that low. <laughs> Of course I am. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> How can you not find it? Just check your Facebook today. Are you friends with anyone in this class? Why not? Te text your friends later, be like, where is this awesome video that we're all a part of? <laughs> Except probably at least half the kids in here have one, and none of you are old, and only I'm sure a few of you are loners. So number seven, do we have someone who can do number seven? All right, Hannah hasn't got to go up yet. Chill out. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm not asking, am I? Volunteering for stuff that's not even. So to get rid of multiplying by two-thirds, we would multiply by the reciprocal. So we do the same thing on the other side. So we get n. Since we divided by or multiplied by a negative, we flip the sign. We can simplify 4 and 2. So we get negative 2 times negative 3, which is positive 6. There you go. Again, the reason why we, we multiply this is because if you look at it, technically, since it's being multiplied, we would divide this by two thirds. Okay, shh. But since we usually don't look at it that way, we think this would be negative two thirds divided by negative two thirds, right? And then how do we divide fractions? You flip the second number, and then you multiply. So what we did is we took all these steps, and we just said, well, instead of going through all that, I know that to divide by a fraction, I'm just multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of doing all that, we're just going to multiply by the reciprocal. So really, we're dividing. It's just we're skipping all these extra steps. Uh-huh. So 3 halves times 4, and you get uh, 6. Okay? I know there's always different ways to do it. What? What did you do? Okay. That's the same thing, though. <laughs> yes, technically you can get rid of fractions by multiplying both by the denominator. But that's just an extra step. It's not easier, it's just different. I know. All right, so no homework on this tonight. But you do need to take home the, the circle paper. Okay. Bring me all your money after school if you want popcorn. Make sure all those cups end up in the trash can. If I see a blue cup in the hallway, I'm going to be very upset. Except not.
There you go. No. Look. 